Welcome back to Arsenal awesome News TV and today we're going to first look at the potential £34.4 million Juventus summer transfer that could be fantastic news for Arsenal and then we're going to look at Arsenal handed boost to complete second deal of the summer transfer window. So the first transfer headline states that the potential £34.4 million Juventus summer transfer that could be fantastic news for Arsenal. So the report stating that Arsenal News takes a closer look at how Juventus' plans to sign a midfielder linked with a move to the Emirates could affect the Gunners' plan for a busy summer transfer window. Arsenal looks set to miss out on the signing of Manuel Locatelli. This is despite, according to Sassuolo Chief Executive Giovanni Cardinavelli, making an official bid for the midfielder who has impressed for Italy at this summer's European Championships. Also, I've made an official bid for Locatelli. They are pushing hard to sign Manuel, and it's an important bid. We will see, Carnavelli said. Juventus also want Locatelli, and we have a special relationship with them. A new meeting has been scheduled with Juve. We are trying to leave the lad calm, so I haven't spoken to him or his agents yet. We can think about Locatelli's future, but above all, we care about his present, and that means Italy doing well at the Euros. But according to reports in Italy, as per the Metro, Locatelli is insistent on joining Juventus this summer. As a result, McLaughlin says that will need to look elsewhere with regards to midfield reinforcements, but with the Serie A giants targeting Locatelli, Arsenal may never get a better chance to sign Hossim Awa. The Frenchman is a player who dominated the Gunners' gossip columns during the 2020 summer transfer window. Fast forward 12 months and Arsenal fans could be in store for another transfer saga as the Lyon midfielder is reportedly back on Miklos Zeta and Edu's radar as they look to add some much needed creativity to the squad. After being priced out of a move for the Frenchman last summer, recent reports have suggested that the 22-year-old's price tag has significantly been lowered from £55 million to just £20 million, meaning Edu can pull off a £30 million masterstroke. Juventus, it remains to be seen if Arsenal have genuinely reignited their interest in Hossim Awa, but a dream scenario has been created just in case they have. Juventus have long been linked with a move to the Lyonnais, with recent reports in Italy claiming he was one of their targets in the summer transfer window. Although with the old lady keen to sign Locatelli in a deal worth €40 million, Euros, which is £34.4 million, pounds, it could be fantastic news for Arsenal as it may give them a free run at finally signing Hossim Awa. So it looks like the potential £34.4 million pound Juventus summer transfer that could be fantastic news for Arsenal. So it looks like Juventus and Arsenal were initially very interested in signing Hossim Awa in the 2020 summer transfer window and Arsenal only pretty much had Juventus and there were reports suggesting that PSG were also interested in Hossim Awa and there were other clubs at Real Madrid were also interested as well but the interest wasn't as keen as both Juventus's and Arsenal's interest in Hossim Awa but it looks like Locatelli has decided to move to Juventus and remain in Italy instead of joining Arsenal so it pretty much allows Arsenal to have a major boost in trying to sign Hossim Awa as it's pretty much only one team that is interested in Hossim Awa at the moment and that is Arsenal. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that Arsenal handed boost to complete second day of the summer transfer window. So the reports are stating that the latest Arsenal news takes a closer look at what Spain's victory over Switzerland in the Euro 2020 quarter-final clash on Friday could mean for the Gunners' transfer plans. Arsenal's plan for a busy summer transfer window is yet to come to fruition. Whilst David Luiz has left after his contract expired and Martin Odegaard, Matt Ryan and Danny Ceballos have returned to their parent club following loan spells, there's only been one deal completed by the Gunners so far. And that was an outgoing with defender Konstantinos Mavropanos returning to Bundesliga outfit Stuttgart for another loan spell. With that said, Austin manager Miklos Sessa and technical director Edu are close to sealing deals for Nuno Tavares and Sambilo Conga. In fact, the, the left-back has been spotted travelling to London. But the next deal to be confirmed could be Granite Xhaka's move to AS Roma. It is understood that the midfielder has already agreed personal terms with the Serie A side and has his heart set up on linking up with Jose Mourinho, despite reported interest from Juventus and Paris Saint-Germain. Although the reason for the deal being delayed has been because of the 28-year-old's international commitments with Switzerland at Euro 2020, 
However, the Gunners might not have to wait much longer to receive a 20 million euro, which is 17 million pound windfall. This is because Switzerland were eliminated from the Euro 2020 tournament at the hands of Spain on Friday evening, which could mean Granit Xhaka is free to speed up the process of sealing his exit from the Emirates Stadium. Interestingly, the potential sale of Xhaka to Roma will be a shame according to Arsenal legend Ian Wright. Can I say something about Granit Xhaka? I was delighted to see how well he played. That's the best I've ever seen him play, Ian Wright said on his Ringer FC podcast of the Switzerland beat France. He was everywhere, he done everything and it looks like he's probably going to Roma. He's not been my favourite player but we saw in that game he was a complete midfielder, he was used properly. Seeing him play that well and knowing what we need at Arsenal, it's a shame he never got performances like that for whatever reason, it is a shame. So it looks like Arsenal handed boost to complete second day of the summer transfer window and it's going to be Granit Xhaka leaving Arsenal to join Roma in a £17 million transfer deal. And for me personally, I think Arsenal could get much higher for Granit Xhaka at this current moment in time. I think when it comes to Lokonga, we're buying him for £17 million and we're getting a player that has experience in the Premier League. He's done it in the biggest stages. He's been in the Europa League quarterfinal. He's been in the Europa League semi-final. He's been in the Europa League final. He's even been in the Euro 2020 quarterfinal. So when it comes to Granit Xhaka, I think he has a lot of experience. And to only sell him for £17 million, I think if a person like Granit Xhaka was part of Chelsea, he would be going for £40 million currently. If you got a player like Granit Xhaka playing for Liverpool, he might be being sold for £40 million. So I don't know why Granit Xhaka is being sold for such a low price, £17 million. Even after his performances in the Euros, it should suggest that his price should go up. You got Locatelli, he was worth around £30 million. He's already gone up to €40 million. Euros. So you can see players' valuation are rising as the Euros are happening. You see Ben White, he was worth around £40 million, but now he's £50 million onwards. So I don't. why isn't that happening with Granit Xhaka? I still don't know why. But for me, Granit Xhaka has had a weird career at Arsenal. There has been some success and there has been some failure. We have to admit it. But it's thank you for Granit Xhaka. So we'll have to wait and see how Arsenal will use the summer transfer window in the end. And make sure you smash the like button to see if you can get 20 likes. Also, hit the subscribe button for more daily Arsenal news videos. Comment below if you think these are good transfer deals and click one of the latest videos on the screen and I'll see you there.